Have you ever wondered why you don't just float off into space? Or why when you jump, you always come back down? The answer is a powerful, invisible force called gravity. It's the ultimate cosmic glue, the silent partner in everything we do. It's a fundamental force that shapes our world and the universe. It keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground. It holds the moon in orbit around the Earth. It keeps the Earth circling the sun. Without gravity, planets, solar systems, and galaxies wouldn't exist. It's the ultimate cosmic organizer, and it's working on you right now. Every single object in the universe is pulling on every other object. You are pulling on this screen. This screen is pulling on you. The chair you're sitting on is pulling on you. You're pulling right back. Even a distant star, millions of light years away, exerts a tiny tug on you. Gravity is always on, always active, connecting everything. Our story begins with a man who was, to put it simply, a science rock star, Sir Isaac Newton. Living in the 17th century, Newton was an incredibly curious and brilliant thinker who asked big questions about the world around him. He wasn't just content with knowing that things happened, he wanted to know why they happened. He developed calculus, made breakthroughs in optics, and formulated the three laws of motion. Newton had a knack for seeing the hidden rules that governed the universe and his biggest discovery would change the way we see everything, from the smallest pebble to the largest star. He was about to connect the heavens and the earth with a single elegant idea. The legend, which you've probably heard, involves Newton sitting under an apple tree. As the story goes, he was pondering the mysteries of the universe when an apple fell from a branch and bonked him on the head, or at least landed nearby. Now, whether the apple actually hit him is part of the myth, but the falling apple was definitely the spark. People had seen things fall for thousands of years, but Newton asked a different kind of question. He wondered if the same force that pulled the apple to the ground. So, what exactly was this grand law that Newton figured out? He called it the law of universal gravitation, and it's beautifully simple. It states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force. This force is what we call gravity. It's not just a one-way street where the Earth pulls on the apple. The apple also pulls on the Earth. Of course, because the Earth is so much more massive, the apple's pull is completely unnoticeable, but it's there. This mutual attraction is happening everywhere, all the time. Your dog is gravitationally attracted to your cat. Your house is attracted to the car in the driveway. You are attracted to the planet Jupiter. Let's break it down with a simple visual. Imagine you and a friend on giant skateboards on a smooth, endless ice rink. If you throw a heavy ball to your friend, the act of throwing it pushes you backward slightly. When your friend catches it, they get pushed backward too. Now imagine you're connected by a giant, invisible rubber band. As you drift apart, the rubber band pulls you back together. For those who like to see